hello everyone today I am going to show you that is a very good interesting topic that is how to add a strip rank between a CUCM that is Cisco Unified Communication Manager and your gateway now first of all we need to go to Cisco Unified Communication Manager and go to devices and select run now fine there is no in my case there is no zip trunk added today I'm going to show you how to add a zip trunk so you need to select add new and here trunk type there are so many trunks are there but now today I'm going to concentrate only on zip trunk so select zip trunk and keep rest of the things in default select next now device name device name anything you wish you can give like in my case I will give zip 2 R1 so description as it is like as you wish anything you can give so zip trunk 2 R1 so device pool whatever you have chosen whatever you have created that one you need to select in my case it is I'm going to select default device pool and now the main important things are you need to select zip trunk security profile that is you should select non secure zip trunk profile and zip profile is very very important that is standard zip profile and you should add the gateway IP address which you are going to bind that is 142.102.64.254 in my case and click on save okay now it got add successful it got added now it got updated now we need to go to gateway that is now here just four commands are there you need to type it and it will be enabled first you need to go for voice service voice here you should enable the SIP protocol in order to communicate between the CUCM and this gateway. Enable and now you need to bind media source interface to gig 0 bar 0 1 0 2. I will tell you why we need to bind this interface only my friends. Now I am going to bind control media and source interface to the same 0 slash 0 dot 102 to write because see why we added the same interface because I will show you do show IP interface brief if I click on this there are so many IP addresses are there so many interfaces are there but we need to select one IP address from here and because the communication between the CUCM and the gateway it has to be happen between any other like of using one IP address otherwise in future may we may come across like voice quality difference and also it may take different different IP addresses and also it will be trouble to troubleshoot the problem if we face any such problem voice quality issue so it will be very difficult to troubleshoot that issue okay now this is the one now you should go to zip trunk and just go to find list okay now we got added that zip trunk to the CUCM in order to communicate between the zip that is CUCM and gateway thank you friends thank you for watching my videos please subscribe and please like the button